Hi everyone, and welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this video today, we're going to do something completely different. In fact, we're going to explore the boundaries of music recording and music reproduction. Where is this going? Where is music and um, uh, playback and music recording going in the long future, in the long term, in, I don't know, 50, 100 years? Can we, can we imagine how the technology is going to develop? In a few years ago, people were, were um, trying to guess, and someone did guess that music would have become completely liquid, as they call it today. So maybe we could try, as almost as a game, to imagine how recording and playback will be in the future. Are you ready? Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a step backward before trying to explore these boundaries because in the end, I'm gonna give you a few ideas I, I have been thinking of, but I really want to discuss this with you. I wanna hear your ideas as well. As I always say, this is a dialogue, so please post your comments here below uh, already if you're already having some ideas with this topic, okay? Okay, so as I said, a step backward. Um, let's just take a brief overview of the main milestones of recording and the, the consequent playback of, of music. Well, we mainly have um, three huge steps in the recording industry. Acoustic recordings, which is something uh, completely um, based on voice, no, no um, uh, electronics, obviously, just mechanics and um, the transformation of your of your voice in uh, analog um, uh, track. So that was the, the the prehistory of recording. Obviously, that's just a small portion of all the, the what comes afterwards. In fact, after acoustics, obviously we have everything that is connected to microphones, analog microphones, and analog microphones are still here. I mean, microphones have gotten better. I don't know. I mean, I think the pinnacle was already reached around the 50s, 60s with fantastic, incredible handmade microphones, <clears throat> which still today are look hunted down to do uh, high quality recordings. So apart from that, m microphones obviously are already the, uh, the point of arrival of that. Um, we can uh, furtherly subdivide that in an analog type of recording which was present, I would say, um, until the, the 90s probably. And it's still on today, but it's not the, the major solution. And obviously the major solution is a direct digital recording, okay? So this is more or less the main um, fundamental fundamentals of, record, of the recording industry, we could say. So connected to this, which obviously is more interesting for us and for our channel, is the playback media solutions, etc. Um, again, we have three main types, I would say, which is obviously tape. I know there are other things uh, invented by Edison, etc. I mean, but we're talking about the main types of playback. Okay, so tape, obviously vinyl, and digital media. These are the three huge solutions up until now. Um, and if you think about it, I mean, the digital media has been present for an extremely long time and it, it's probably gonna go on and on and develop. In which way? That's one of the topics of this video. So, um, in this evolution though, considering also other fields of evolution, and I also been studying evolution in my um, studies at the university, etc. So it's something familiar to me. Uh, evolution. So if we think about it, there is a huge anomaly. Uh, I think, in fact, I call this huge glitch in the, in the development of sound reproduction is the so-called, I would say, CD anomaly. Because um, 
the CD medium, which is still produced today in 2018, has been present since the early 80s. It is something that has a huge lifespan and it's still living. Okay, there have been a lot of tentatives of uh, trying to evolve this, uh, this medium, this solution. Absolutely. We have dozens of them. Mini, you name it. I mean, mini disc, um, a DAT, um, a DVD audio. We also had a completely new thing, new type, not PCM um, type of audio, but DSD with the Super Audio CD. That's a completely different type of digital recording. So that was a true um, uh, tentative to uh, diverge to expand our, our quality, our, our knowledge, and our um, simply uh, the quality, yeah, I would say the, 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 the fidelity of our reproduction because DSD compared to a normal CD is superior, especially if you're recording directly in DSD. But apart from that, I'm just saying there have been a lot of steps trying to um, disengage from the compact disc and that has not been achieved. Continuing down that evolution, we have dozens of different kinds of CDs, like the SCHM of the, the uh, um, I mean, HCDC. -H 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 I mean, there, there's so many types that try to introduce a little jump in quality and everyone, everyone failed. I mean, if you think about video, for example, oh boy, I mean, get the last 20 years of video. Whew. It's a huge leap in evolution. I mean, they got DVDs immediately that was dedicated for, for video. Then they got Blu-rays, now they got 4K. The televisions now are, are cheap. They do incredible things compared to the old uh, old tellies of the, of the 80s and 90s that we're all used to. I mean, oh my God. I mean, there's a huge evolution there and why audio did not do this? Actually, audio is following up always on video, which was not the case in the past century. Um, and in fact, following this evolution, what do we see? We see that, unfortunately, the industry had to find a different solution because uh, there were new, new requirements, new needs. In fact, we um, the great transformation, we could say, of digital audio happened when we had uh, a, a better understanding of compression. Compression changed everything, along with portable devices like the iPod. With that, everything changed because finally we were trying, starting to detach by the, from the physical um, media, creating liquid music, files, just 1010, not on a physical spinning support, um, and compressed so you could easily transfer this, send it to people, uh, also for, for in, in the professional environment, but also in, in just entertainment. So that evolution though, unfortunately uh, had uh, brought with itself a compromise in quality. As you know, also, as we all know, I mean, compression uh, did bring um, this strong compromise for several years. Only now we're starting to find high res is, is back in the game, uh, FLAC type of files, lossless type of, of compression, etc., which I think it's always a little loss. I know it's not on the paper, but I think every every kind of loss, lossless uh, compression does have an impact on a, a digital file. But apart from that, MQA, we dis we've discussed about MQA. I mean, these are all solutions to compress because, I mean, a high quality, because the quality is growing, demands bigger files. And again, that's the all, all, always the same problem. We have to find um, uh, solutions to compress that since we're not tied anymore to physical media. So this liquid music brought us to the final um, uh, situation, thanks also to the development of internet, of the broadband, etc. to, yes, you guessed it, streaming. Now we're in the stage, in the era of streaming. Uh, consuming, I hate this term, consuming music now happens, takes place in, m mostly, through a streaming service. 
which can be free, which can be high quality, uh, their subscriptions, et cetera, et cetera. We're, we, don't, we don't care about that. So this is more or less um, the evolution with this, which, with this huge uh, anomaly uh, dictated by the CD, which is something completely out of any, any kind, type of scheme, if you think about it. Every other field of, of human knowledge did evolve somehow. And we did as well, but we found compromise solutions. We do not have a clear evolution of music reproduction, and I would say also music recording, that everyone is enjoying, unfortunately. And that is why I would like to try to imagine where this is going to bring us, where this is going to uh, go. So a proof of what we're saying, a direct consequence of this lack of evolution, which is something I would say typical in analyzing human behavior, is to involve. If we don't evolve, we involve. And what is that? Well, simply going back to physical media, which we like to call vintage, just to give it a different flavor, but it's an involution. We're not going ahead, we're going back to our physical media because we're tired of consuming things that are we do not feel as real. We do not have a physical contact. There's a lack of emotion in the way we're um, consuming uh, uh, music and the way we're also um, living with it. Because uh, obviously you, you also, <clears throat> you're also missing a huge part, as we said in that video on how you should listen to music. Here's a link. There's also this missing of the physical contact, and that is why, obviously, we all know that. Um, a vinyl, with its nice graphics, with its huge and physical media, and also tape, uh, with its uh, acoustic nuances, is coming back. And also CDs, as I said already in another video, it's got, we're also going to go back to these spinning physical medias, <coughs> a jewel case, etc., because we're, we need also that component. So, considering all this, where are we going? What is the final stage of evolution? Since we're, 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 we're assisting to something completely uh, de derailed from what is normal, uh, as I said, normal evolution in the human history. I mean, uh, we're going back in our med physical media and we're going back also in quality since streaming is not high quality. Yes, we do have high res, we do have MQA, etc. But compared to a good reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape or a good uh, quality two or four cassette or, for example, a vinyl, audio file vinyl, I mean, the experience, it's completely different, completely different. So that's why we're sticking to analog. But we can't do that forever. Obviously, guys, we are, we are all waiting for something new. Is it going to take place soon? I don't know. Probably not. But I still, I want to try to imagine possible solutions, future solutions. So let's try, let's do this game. Okay, so um, as I said in the beginning of this video, please write your comments, please write your suggestions, please write your imaginations on this. I'm very interested and I think it's an interesting topic also to um, confront a debate. Where do you think music is going to go? How is, how is it going to evolve? Uh, what solutions are awaiting us and I mean in the, in the immediate future like 30 40 years or in the distant future 100 200 the solutions I'm gonna try to imagine today are probably very distant like 100 years or so I, I figured out also discussing with my wife uh, we imagine two solutions the first solution would be something completely detached from the physical media, which I would call um, neuronal osmosis. Uh, something very similar to what happens, for example, in uh, The Matrix. Jiu -jitsu. I'm going to learn Jiu -jitsu. Uh, with Keanu Reeves uh, the, uh, and, and all the uh, the initial part where he tries to uh, <clears throat> become 
a, a, a martial um, uh, warrior, martial arts, arts warrior, etc., etc., know things in a rapid way. And he's connected, for example, to a machine which transfers, that's the osmosis, the information to his head. So um, something very similar also to, um, maybe you've seen this movie, Strange Days, where he, he practically um, uses a helmet with, with goggles and he is physically living that moment almost as a recording. So something like that, which is transferred, the music, the signal, the electric signal is transferred directly to our neuronal neurons in our in our um, in our mind in our um, in our head in our brain, and we practically uh, consume music inside ourselves. I mean, we all we all know that you can um, uh, sense uh, feelings, emotions, even though your body is not externally living them, like a taste, like a sound, uh, anything else. I mean, you can feel that if your brain is stimulated that way. So the same could happen, I think, that's one possibility, also in music. We, we, I don't know how, obviously, but somehow you would be transferred the music, the, the, the electronic signals, electric signals to our brain, and we would enjoy them that way, very simply. Another, another solution in, instead is a more physical um, development which I think is somewhere, somehow, going to be present in our, um, in our evolution, in our um, history, in our humanity, of the evolution of human being. What am I talking about? I'm talking about biological technology. Okay, I'm a sci-fi geek. You, you understood that. So I'm going to do another citation of a sci-fi movie. Have you ever seen the movie Existence? <laughs> That's a good hint. They has they have these huge pads for video gaming, but the pads are living beings. So that's what I'm imagining. I'm imagining um, something that can record almost a biological entity. We could call it also an animal made in a lab, genetic genetically engineered to record and reproduce music in in all frequencies. Because if you create something in the la in the laboratory, artificially, um, you can give it all the parameters you want. Obviously, the technology of today cannot do this. But I think that's something awaiting us in the future, where um, we are going to create living things that will do wash our wash our laundry, um, uh, project our movies, um, drive us to work, or, or entertain us in uh, in other ways. Who knows? Uh, obviously, there are downsides in this because if if, if there, we have living creatures, uh, these decay somehow. But I think we can also in intervene in that sense. We can also regenerate tissues and things like that. Or, um, for example, obviously these biological entities need to consume. Con they need con a consumption of some kind of fuel, like we eat food. Uh, so that would be probably an issue. But who knows? I mean. Uh, probably if we reach that type of technology, that's not going to be an issue anymore. And we could imagine a, a physical being, living being, which has uh, the complete spectrum, able of, capable of recording the complete spectrum and also reproducing that in the best way in our living room. That would be fantastic, I think. A lot of you are probably think I'm completely crazy. I know that. But I like to... Uh, uh, imagine these things discuss about these things and i hope you're gonna jump in and leave your comment here below okay guys i hope i hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you soon bye